Hi, my name is Katrina Stones and I'm from Tullamore County Offaly. My history is I've got a low AMH of 4.006 and my husband has got a low count and low motility. Our journey began uh, three years prior to conceiving and I was nine months trying, trying to conceive when we went to our GP for, for tests. At the GP he said he wanted to carry out some fertility tests and after these tests were carried out, he said that a fertility clinic would be required. And from here, we were told to go to this fertility clinic. At the fertility clinic, I was told I had a low AMH of 4.006 and my husband had a low low, um, low count. Um, and only 1% was normal motility and 99% was abnormal, which means it was an extremely low count. And then the clinic said that we would have to do some fertility tests and treatments, which would be two rounds of Clomid, uh, two rounds of IUI and one round of ICSI. All of these um, tests were done or treatments were done and none had worked. At the um, IU, at the ICSI cycle, the, the egg never made it to, um, it never became an embryo. Um, day three, it never made it to transfer. Um, we were told at that point that donor egg was required and that um, we felt at the review clinic, we felt so devastated, so lonely, so sad that we would possibly never have children of our own. And then after this, we went off and we did more research and we found a lady um, came across a lady and her name was Siobhan Kyo and she is based in Enniscorthy, Wexford and at her consultation we were told that herbs were required and that would take three to six months to get pregnant with her treatment of herbs and herbs would nourish my egg which was my AMH and boost my AMH and that the herbs would boost my husband's low count of motility and in turn then would boost his digestive system and all in would all aid to conceive a, a healthy pregnancy so following our consultation i came out from the consultation i thought very uh, i was very very skeptical skeptical of of the the treatment but my husband wasn't he was at, at the opposite end um of the consultation he thought you know that it was going to work that this is it you know that IVF wasn't going to be required but I was gearing myself up for a second round and I didn't think that um, the treatment plan would work but anyway uh, Siobhan said that her treatment would be herbs, diet changes, supplements and acupuncture so we went ahead and we did those and our first consultation was in November 2012 and we did the treatment for a couple of weeks and in January 2013 we found out we were pregnant. Uh, after three long years we found out we were pregnant and um, we were over the moon um, and then in September 2013 we were told we were, um, we, we had a healthy baby girl a healthy pregnancy it was um, and a healthy baby girl and she is just delicious she's lovely and she's the joy to all of our lives after that then we said we we wanted another baby another child if it, if it could at all happen again we we're lucky to happen the first time and we went back to Siobhan in the hope that we'd have a sibling for our first child and we attended her in June 2014 and then in January 2015 we found out we were pregnant again and a second baby girl was born in September 2015 again another healthy pregnancy and another healthy child and we are really happy and have, have a healthy family and we are delighted. If anyone's listened to this video clip, I'd just like to say to make the journey to Siobhan in Enniscorthy and it is worth the trip. And she is very knowledgeable and she understands everything about fertility treatment and she is definitely worth the journey. Um, I know fertility, infertility is a roller coaster and it is a hard journey, but definitely worth the, the trip to Enniscorthy. Thanks for listening.